Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the previous lecture, we have explained the interrelation between error types and their corresponding performance parameters, accuracy, throughness, and precision. And we said that errors should be removed because it will bias the true value. But errors cannot be known exactly, cannot be calculated exactly. So, instead of calculating errors, we should estimate the errors and that will be by trueness, accuracy and precision. Systematic total and random errors trueness will be the estimate for systematic errors and precision will be the estimate for random errors and accuracy will be the estimate of total random and systematic errors so it will be quantified by assessing both systematic and random errors Tronis will be expressed as bias percentage and we explained in the previous lecture how to calculate bias precision can be expressed as standard deviation and this will be our lecture today today's lecture and accuracy can be expressed as measurement uncertainty and this will, will be our next inshallah training course after method validation so let's start now with precision precision as you know is closeness of results together not to the true value so if you spike your sample as example was 5 pbb and you get results far from this true value far from 5 pbb like 3.2 2.9 2.8, 3.0 all of these results close together but far from the true value in this case your results are precise but not accurate to be accurate results should be closed to the true value close to the true value like 4.9 4.8 whatever to be accurate but for obtaining the precision we should make repeated measurements and there are two different types of precision measures repeatability and reproducibility repeatability results obtained under repeated analysis by the same analyst same instrument same method and short time scale but in case of reproducibility or intermediate precision results obtained in this case by repeated analysis also by different analyst different instrument maybe different method and long time scale now you will ask me how can i achieve this performance parameter which is reproducibility if i don't have different analyst i have only one analyst for the method if i don't have different instrument what will i do in this case in this case you can do intra lab reproducibility you will make replicate analysis but for different levels you will select three different levels as example low level mid level and high level and you will make replicate analysis from each one of them in this case these levels will be done in long time scale you can also use different analyst same instrument no problem but you select different levels this how to achieve this performance parameter if you don't have different analyst or different instrument if you cannot change in these factors in this example we will learn how to evaluate repeatability and reproducibility we will select three different levels low level mid level and high level 
From each one, we will make replicate analysis from 6 to 10 replicates. 10 replicates are the best. And then we will calculate the average between the results. And we will calculate the recovery for each individual result. And then we will calculate the average recovery between all of these results. Then we will calculate standard deviation between these results. And as we mentioned before, standard deviation used to measure the amount of variation of a set of data value. Measure the amount of variation between these individual results and equal to square root of submission average or mean minus individual results up to 2 divided by n minus 1. This is the standard deviation. Low standard deviation indicates that results are closed to the true value. High standard deviation indicates that results are far from the true value. So, if these individual results are close to the true value, standard deviation will be low and your results will be accurate. In this case, the results will be accurate. Mean that results close to the true value. If your results are far from the true value, so standard deviation will be high and your results will not be accurate. Then we will calculate relative standard deviation, and that used to calculate to evaluate repeatability. Relative standard deviation, which equal to standard deviation divided by mean recovery mean recovery, standard deviation here, divided by mean of recovery, multiplied by 100. Standard deviation, divided by mean recovery, multiplied by 100. It will be relative standard deviation. According to our guideline, it should be less, should not, less than 20%. It should not be higher than 20%. It should be less than 20%. We will make the same, we will repeat the same thing also in mid level and in case of high level. So from here we will get mean recovery, standard deviation, relative standard deviation. Same thing here, here. Then we will calculate. Average of recovery, average recovery of these three levels, which is Q type, Q type equal average recovery of all of these three levels, mean that mean recovery, low level, plus mean recovery, uh, mid level plus mean recovery of high level divided by 3 you will get Q type then you will calculate pooled relative standard deviation you will pool, you will make pooling the variance between all of these three levels which equal to relative standard deviation square root of 1 out to 2 and 1 minus 1 plus relative standard deviation 2 and 2 minus 1 plus relative standard deviation 3 in 3 minus 1 divided by in 1 minus 1 plus in 2 minus 1 plus in 3 minus 1 and number of replicates for each level. If you did 6 replicate or 10 replicate, you will calculate. Same here. So you calculated standard deviation, you calculated 
relative standard deviation that should not be sh should be less than 20 percent then you calculate q type average recovery of all of these three levels and you calculate pooled relative standard deviation you calculate by pooling the variance between all of these three levels and by this way you evaluate repeatability for each level and reproducibility for long time using the different levels in trial lab reproducibility this is the easiest way to calculate or to evaluate repeatability and reproducibility inshallah see you in the next lecture assalamu alaikum